Welcome, everyone. Today, we delve into the intensifying conflict in the Red Sea, a topic underscored by Colonel Douglas McGregor's critical insights. The profound strategic implications are brought to the forefront with the latest U.S. military strikes against the Houthi rebels in Yemen, signaling an escalation that could reshape the region's dynamics. What does this mean for global trade and maritime security? Join us as we unpack the details of these attacks and explore their far-reaching consequences. Colonel Douglas McGregor astutely observes the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East as a complex web of alliances and conflicts. Within this intricate tapestry, the Houthi rebels in Yemen have emerged as a formidable maritime threat in the Red Sea. Analysis of Houthi Threat Their aggressive stance against commercial shipping, particularly vessels linked to their adversaries, has been a significant cause for concern. In a recent alarming escalation, the Houth targeted the Malta-flagged Greek-owned bulk carrier Zariah with a naval missile in January 2024. While causing no casualties, this attack demonstrated the Houth's increasing maritime capabilities and their willingness to engage in open hostility in these critical waters. New Houthi Tactics Further underscoring their evolving tactics, the Houthis have expanded their arsenal to include small, both crewed and unmanned one-way attack vessels. This new capability, first observed in recent attacks, presents a heightened risk to maritime security in the region. The United States Navy's active defense against these threats, including intercepting numerous UAVs and missiles, highlights the international community's concerted efforts to counter this burgeoning threat. Economic Repercussions Turning to the economic repercussions, as highlighted by Colonel McGregor, the ongoing conflict in the Red Sea spearheaded by Houthi attacks has profound implications for global trade. The strategic location of the Bab el Mandeb Strait, a vital conduit for global shipping, particularly oil and commodities, has become a flashpoint in this conflict. Impact on Global Trade the persistent disruption of maritime traffic through this route has led to significant rerouting of ships, notably via the longer and more expensive Cape of Good Hope route. This diversion, necessitated by safety concerns, has a cascading effect, increasing shipping durations and costs, thereby impacting global supply chains. Europe, which depends heavily on these maritime routes for imports, particularly from Asia, is facing escalating import costs. Security Measures The relentless Houthi activity in the Red Sea has elicited a robust military response from the United States and the United Kingdom, a strategy that Colonel Douglas McGregor would likely view as an attempt to assert control over a volatile situation. This joint operation, supported by allies like Australia, Bahrain, Canada, and the Netherlands, has launched targeted strikes against healthy infrastructure, aiming to dismantle the group's missile and surveillance capabilities. Effectiveness of Military Measures However, the effectiveness of these military measures has been questioned by observers like Colonel McGregor, who often highlights the complexity of such interventions in deeply rooted regional conflicts. The Houthi response to these strikes has been one of defiance, with vows of retaliation that underscore the cyclical nature of violence in the region. Despite the coalition's efforts, the threat to commercial shipping remains high, necessitating an increased military presence to ensure the safety of these crucial maritime lanes. Strategic Significance of Maritime Routes Colonel Douglas McGregor often emphasizes the strategic significance of key maritime routes, and the Bab el Mandeb Strait is a prime example of this. Known as the Gate of Tears, this narrow waterway is pivotal in the global shipping network, linking the Red Sea to the Gulf of Aden and the Arabian Sea. Geopolitical Flashpoint It's a crucial transit point 
particularly for oil and fuel shipments from the Gulf en route to the Mediterranean and other global destinations. In the first 11 months of 2023 alone, approximately 7.80 million barrels per day of crude and fuel pass through this strait, highlighting its immense importance to global energy markets. The strait's narrowness, being just 18 miles wide at its slimmest point, alongside the high volume of traffic, renders it a sensitive geopolitical flashpoint. Historical Precedence Colonel McGregor would likely note that the control or disruption of the Bab el Mandeb Strait has historical precedence for causing significant global repercussions. This was evident during the 1973 Yom Kippur War when Egypt's naval blockade of Israel through this strait had far reaching impacts. Today, the strait's security remains a critical concern particularly as tensions with the Houthi rebels continue to escalate. International Response The international community has responded assertively to the Houthi attacks in the Red Sea. The UN Security Council, representing a global consensus, strongly condemned these attacks and demanded an immediate cessation. Eleven members voted in favor of a resolution that calls for the end of attacks that impede global commerce and navigational rights. Complex Geopolitics However, four members, including Russia and China, abstained from the vote, reflecting the complex geopolitics at play. The US, UK and other nations have warned the Houthis of severe consequences if their destabilizing actions continue. A joint statement from nations, including Australia, Belgium, Canada, and Japan, calls for an immediate end to these attacks and emphasizes that the Houths will bear the responsibility for any consequences of their continued aggression. China's response China's response to the crisis has been more cautious, reflecting its economic and geopolitical considerations. As a major global trading nation, China is significantly affected by disruptions in the Red Sea, a key artery for its maritime trade. The crisis has led to a decrease in Red Sea traffic, compelling shipping operators to reroute around the Cape of Good Hope, thus affecting global supply chains and increasing costs. However, China has refrained from direct military involvement, maintaining its policy of non-interference and avoiding alignment with the U.S.-led efforts. The ongoing crisis in the Red Sea is a stark reminder of the fragile nature of global trade routes and the need for international cooperation and dialogue to ensure maritime security and stability. In summary, the Houthi actions in the Red Sea have sparked global concern drawing military responses and impacting international trade. The strategic Babe El Mandeb Strait is a focal point in this complex geopolitical landscape. Colonel McGregor's insights into such conflicts remind us of the wider implications on global security. Stay informed and aware of these evolving dynamics that shape our world. Thank you for watching.